up, guys? It's Kim Chi. And Tofu. Yeah. All right, we are going into Parasite, the Maxim episode number three. Mm -hmm. We just left off on episode number two with the uh, the guy. I don't know who he is, but he's some other parasite. Some yeah, some other parasite, and he was about to mate with this, this other, other girl. girl. Yeah, An another female. Another female, this parasitic An female. Yeah, it was it a parasitic female? I have no idea, oh. but that's just how it closed off. But oh. we got a cute little Mickey. Mm -hmm. But thank you guys so much for joining us. We are going into episode number three. Yes. So far, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. <gasps> Whoa. She was straight up nice. Maybe she ain't even telling the truth. No, you just saw him take his hand off of her. Oh, you did? Oh, I didn't see that. Wow. Dude, she threw him? Hot damn. Da, da, da. She's da, da. cool looking. So that was the lady that uh, we left off at on the last episode. Oh, that was the one that was in bed? Or... Yeah. Whew. Man. First, we got the Tower of God intro. Then Parasite Maxim intro. We got fun intros this Damn. right now. 84 murders. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Was that Miggy? Yeah. How did Miggy come up all the way to his neck? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, is this inside the school? No. Uh, oh. Yeah, it is inside the school, right? Yeah. So it's another student? Or it could be a teacher too, faculty, anybody. Tamiya sensei. Uh, yeah. yeah. Her. Yeah. That's his class? Is it his class? No, that's her class. Oh. Oh, did she find him? Yeah. Oh, no. He's caught. She's like, found him. <laughs> no, so she's kind of special. Because she could have probably killed the guy in the subway if she wanted to. But she didn't. He hasn't wrote down anything. <laughs> They're all jealous of him. But she's not going to do anything to him. Remember? She's, yeah. She just wants to blend in. She's probably going to tell him what's up. Oh, you got to keep the rolls. So, あなたとはもっと色々話したいんです。僕はごめんだからな。人間というのは殺しても殺していい。私はね。だからデータが欲しいわけ。おう。お互い情報交換。おう。She's oh. oh. <laughs> was this guy trying to ask her out on a date? Yes. Hot damn, dude, she just got here. He's got to make sure he's the first. So thirsty. <laughs> oh, she probably brought the guy. Uh oh. She did. Oh. <laughs> His eyes are so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. They're There's ready one. to fight. Yeah. Oh, she was trying to make him look like a hooker. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait, so the baby com comes out completely normal? Oh, 
どうしてそんなことを右手さんにもしてみたのかしら私は新一の血液から食欲というものを知らん共食いの理由もは能力はなくひたすら共食いみたいなことを繰り返す。Also, they take it as a pleasure. 生物の腹が減れば食うし、邪魔者がいれば排除する。それだけだ。あいつは危険だ。始末すべきだ。育った環境が違いかしら。人間は時々理解できないような行動をとるから。仮に私と敵対して騒ぎをあなたの方が立場は不利。私もなるべく人間としての身分を守りたい。その気になれば人クラス。わ、wow. あ、だし、だし、drink。三秒。three seconds。マスクだ、whole class。cheese。yes、that's girlfriend。oh my gosh、that's so scary。大したやつだ。新一の恐怖心をここまで引き。冷たい。何をする新一。熱いの塊だ。で、あい、it's probably the guy。Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. <gasps> oh, it's coming to kill him. Yeah, yeah. He's. <laughs> oh, dude, the head whipped him. Damn. Damn. That's crazy. He knows what's going on. Damn, so that means that this guy's the. Him or the girl has to fight. Yeah. In front of everybody. She's probably gonna go kill him. She wants to watch. Dang, I thought she was gonna kill him because. Oh. Oh, they see him. But he's gonna start killing everybody uh, uh, on the way. Yep. Oh my gosh, so he has to risk all the people dying. A wall of meat. Wow. That's so sickening. But you know, Miki only knows about himself. He just wants to survive. That is true. He doesn't really have that much empathy or anything, sympathy for these guys. Yeah. Yeah, just like what you said. Humans are the only one creature that commits suicide. <laughs> like these deaths are gonna protect them. <laughs> <laughs> so make it two on one. Ah. Yeah, you're right. So he probably has to do the final stab. Yeah. Oh, oh he's directly below. Wow. He's coming through the window? Oh my gosh. So much for that barrier. Uh Dang. That, what? That was it? Oh snap, that was fast. Yeah. Damn. Alright, so um uh, the the teacher uh, about her, she wants to stay human or just blend in with human society. That's why she's not going on a killing spree. Yes. Because uh their kind cannot the parasites cannot reproduce. So this is their only way of reproducing is if Mating. She, yeah, if they mate using the humans and then just live but, off the humans. Yeah, but the thing is, is she said the babies are not parasitic. They're, they're born as human beings. Yes, but if they eat all the humans, then the humans are gone. But if, like, she just trades off one after another, she could live forever and she could just live a normal life. It seems like all of these parasites just have their own different mindset and their own curiosity that is what drives them. Some of them just want to eat mm -hmm. and survive, mm -hmm. while other ones want to experiment and learn more about the world or the yeah. the humans that they're living off of. Right, 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 right. They're not all exactly the same. Yeah. But I always thought that um, in this case, the main character is different because uh, for them, like they said, the parasite in the body, they're one, mm -hmm. whereas Miki, they're two. Yeah. Because he didn't per infect the brain. Yes. The host, it only, it's only the arm. So that is something new. And it's it works out for Miggy because Miggy doesn't need to eat people. That's true. Yep. So this is kind of a way where it's like, ah, a parasite and a human can actually live together. 
yes. in peace and harmony, mm -hmm. but which means that they still have to be in part of our body, Yeah. but just not in our head. But that would, I think that would be kind of cool, because then if you do get an extra person to help you out or whatever, you have these superpowers, mm -hmm. and then you don't have to worry about getting killed or people killing you. Does that mean that later on that humans have to learn how to live with parasites? Uh, yeah, probably. Right? Probably. Probably. Because I don't think, I, I, I don't think this, this is about getting rid of all the parasites. I think it's about how they, how the parasites can live with the humans. Yes, how they can coexist. Yeah, how they can coexist. So, but they do. They still do have to take out the bad parasites, which are causing disruptions and into this whole system. Yes. Right. Which is which is that guy. Mm hmm. And then there's uh, people like her, where she just wants to uh, coexist. Coexist. What? Well, I guess it's almost like Men in Black in some some way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know how Men in Black, they the aliens live inside the humans. Yes. Yeah, they um, they blend in. They blend in, and then there's the bad bad ones. Yeah, yeah. In a sense, this is like it. Yeah, except but where except these parasites, they need to feed off humans, though. Yes. They need to eat. Yes. And which is only cannibalism, uh, which means that if the parasite gets in a bird, a bird will eat a bird. If the parasite gets in a fish, then the fish will eat a fish. But the woman, what is she doing? What is she eating to survive? She needs to eat. Yeah. Right. I just wonder what she's eating or if she's just eating people from away from the school so that it doesn't mess everything up. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah. So basically what she says about the baby part is that it's it, it they they fit in this cycle of life. Yes. Circle of life. What they're saying is that since we can reproduce, then that means it's the same as we we're reproducing our own food. So yeah. that means that the population won't go down. Yes. That means that they can keep going. They can come in and fit into the circle of life because they can reproduce the babies. Yes, it's like they're farming the humans and living off of them at the same time. Yeah, they're farming. The, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really. Would you really say it's farming humans? Uh, yeah, I mean they could. They have the yes possibility. And no, right? Yeah, yes and no. But for her, I think what she wants to do is she wants to blend in with the humans, right? Yes. Because. Uh, blends in because let's say if you do disrupt this whole system and the humans start fearing and, and this whole system crashes the only way for them to survive there's no order no in it. there is no order and if there is an order then farming is the only way but she wants to live like a human yeah she wants to live this uh this lifestyle but um uh, that, that's why i feel like later on in the future we're going to be seeing this uh, coexistence with the way parasites and humans will start to live with each other and they have to understand each other. Yeah, yes, and I think it just starts with these two, which is Miggy and um, this woman teacher. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, because if the baby, if they did mate and then the baby did come out as another parasite, then that would become a problem because you're just creating more parasite and less humans. But when you're creating uh, more of the parasite and less of the food, then you're going to have something like a farm or like the Matrix, you know? Uh. Whereas the Matrix, where it's like the robots need humans and the humans need robots, but the dominant one will always, always be the win. one. Uh, yeah, the, the one that's at the top of the food chain, basically, will always be the one that controls how things go. But that means yeah. that they can't live that certain type of lifestyle. That's true. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is, this is interesting. It, it's interesting because a, a lot of the parasites are... They have a different personality, and they want they different things. Yeah. yeah, that's what makes it fun and interesting. Yeah, because when you look at Mickey, Mickey's character, she Mickey don't care about human lives at all. Mm -mm. The, the, she doesn't. The only thing that Mickey cares about is Mickey a boy or girl? It's an it. It okay. Yeah. So Mickey only cares about is its own survival. Yes. And if it's its own survival, that means that his host or the character has to stay alive. So that's the only thing that Mickey cares about. Yeah. Uh, the teacher, on the other hand, she knows that she has to eat to survive. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, she doesn't want to disrupt what's cool, the, the society. Yeah, she doesn't want to disrupt what's going on. Right? Yes. And and she wants to understand this more. She wants to learn more. And then you see someone like the guy who's just literally, the, there's the black and white where you yeah. see it, right? It's he just, eats when he wants to eat. He kills when he wants to kill. Yeah, very simple minds. Just a very simple-minded monster. I mean, that's what I'm getting at with this. Well, if they see... Well, if they can just do what Mickey did, 
they mm-hmm. could just live in peace. The parasite? Yeah. But they don't know that. Remember, parasites, they're all different. Yeah. Some of them seems like they have an IQ of, I don't know, a, a 30, 30 year old adult, and some looks like they just have a high IQ of a 10 year old middle school kid. True. You know? It's about how to balance it. Yeah. Balance. Yeah. Well, cool. All right, guys, that was Parasite Maximum episode number three. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you guys very soon for episode number four. Till then, have a great day, and we will see you next time. Yes, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.